Taeyeon Kim, born on the Lunar New Year, was immediately faced with insurmountable struggles. Cursed and ostracized for being a female in a male-dominated world and culture, she met these impossible situations with courage and tenacity. Her life story proves that this dynamic woman never gives up. Abandoned by her parents during the Korean War, she endured casualties and heartbreak far beyond the scope of most children. Raised by her grandparents, she was exposed to Taekwondo as a young child through watching her uncle's daily practice. They scoffed at her desire to learn the martial arts since she was only a girl. It wasn't until she met a perceptive monk who acknowledged her great potential that she began her journey in intensive training in the martial arts. For 5,000 years, women had been forbidden to train, but the young Young Kim, with support from her master, would not let that stop her. As a result of her persistence and diligent training, she became the first female key master in the world. Taeyeon Kim had learned to overcome the limitations and family pressures as a Korean woman without losing sight of her goals for success. Her mission in life became clear, and because of her tremendous success, she decided to dedicate her life to the message, he can do, she can do, why not me? As the first female master and leader in the martial arts world, Young Kim broke down the barriers for women to train in Taekwondo. As a result, she was responsible for creating the first women's division at the World Games in South Korea and was inducted into the Taekwondo Hall of Fame. In addition to holding the highest belt rank in the art of Taekwondo, she is also the world's foremost key master, teaching internal power. Young Kim transcends the traditional ranks of the martial arts by combining not only the physical aspect, but also the connection between mind and spirit. This is what makes her teaching unique and authentic to the deeper practices that have been the foundation of all martial arts. She calls this art Jung Suwon, and Young Kim has trained some of the highest masters and grandmasters in the world, along with Olympic athletes, actors, business leaders, and people from all walks of life. And she continues to teach through her academy, Jung Suwon Martial Arts, located in Northern California. When Young Kim first came to the United States, it was her dream to open her own martial arts school. With only $300 in her pocket and the inability to speak the English language, she faced many difficult challenges, including feeling alienated, resented, and alone in this new country. She tirelessly worked many odd jobs to support herself and her goals. She was devastated when her first martial arts school was completely burned down by an arsonist, whose only motive was his hatred for her. Now, at a low point in her life, she felt hopeless and even contemplated giving up. However, it was her faith in God that helped her to persevere and gave her the strength to continue her mission. In 1982, she received a vision about her future. She would use technology and computers to help people all over the world. Since she had never even seen a computer, her vision seemed outrageous, so she dismissed it. Until it reoccurred two months later. This time the vision had more clarity and detail. Convinced that the visions were a guidance from God pointing her in a new direction, she embraced the opportunity and Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions became a reality. Tae Young Kim founded Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions in 1982 with a few of her students and over the years built it into one of the top technology companies in the Silicon Valley. Having an impact on people's lives every day, the company makes necessary equipment for monitoring the air in homes and buildings. And companies in the electronics, pharmaceutical, and aerospace industries use Lighthouse sensors to maintain ultra-pure air and water used in the manufacturing of their products. Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions has won technology awards from the semiconductor and pharmaceutical industries, and for two years in a row, they were known as the best place to work in the Bay Area. The California State Legislature recognized Young Kim as Businesswoman of the Year for her company's successful growth even during troubled economic times. People from all over the world admire the vivacious and influential Young Kim, recognizing her as a living legend. They look up to her as an example of the amazing and incredible goals that are possible in their own lives. She continues to inspire people with her own personal stories and secrets of success through her lectures, books, and training programs based on he can do, she can do, why not me? Nationally, she is highly regarded and was the top speaker at the San Francisco Women's Summit. On the international front, Young Kim was named the hope of the country by the president of South Korea for her outstanding accomplishments and tireless efforts in helping others. Honored with a PhD in business from a prestigious university in South Korea, she has been interviewed on television programs throughout the world and has an enormous following. 
Even though in the past she was considered bad luck, a curse, and a failure, Taeyang Kim overcame all obstacles and is now known as an icon of success, a modern day warrior, technology giant, business visionary, and a great American success story. The power of love is in each one of us, says Dr. Kim. The power to touch our original self, which is the person we were born to be. That is why Dr. Kim reminds all of us, He can do, she can do, why not me? Oh yes. <laughs>